Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Ninja here, and welcome back, guys, to a brand new Ninjago with you here on the channel today. Hello, guys. I did one already today, but I forgot to do my last one on Thursday, but it was waiting yesterday, so that's why I'm doing two today. So, Hope you guys are excited for this review. If you guys are excited for this review, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below. This maybe we can try maybe maybe we can get this video to five likes. That would be greatly a piss a piss a piss I would love it so much if you guys could do that. That would be amazing. Also guys, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to three thousand subscribers. By June 8th, 2024. So if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. If you guys can help me out. So yeah. Also hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below. Go subscribe to my two other channels. Link is in the description down below. So in our last Ninjago review, I reviewed you guys. Wildly inappropriate, which is a very weird episode to, to talk about it. In today's episode, I'll be reviewing you guys the 14th episode, and that is The Last Gen, which is the uh, Inner Soros episode. So, here we go. We begin with our Crusader in the whole time, trying to figure out how to get that door open, and all of that, trying to open up what to do, like what we left up in the last episode. Uh, we're, we're pretty much what we left out is we left up right there, uh, and then uh, Say is trying to open up that door, trying to think about fix her, and then of course we got Mr. Fraiki, Mr. Fraiki, whatever how you pronounce the frog's name. We have him talking. We have him in the background. Uh, we have him coming up in the tail and saying, "Hey, uh, I do not want to disturb you." and Oh, it does. And I got you some ice. Why did they need so many ice? I have no idea why. And he was like, is that picture real? Saint said, uh, of course not. It's not real. How is Ben's real? Like, how is that? How is that a real thing? And yeah. So you have Mia and Soa here. And uh, you hit them now. And then, of course, we have here to Nia and Soa. They are talking about that. Uh, Soa say, is this room going to... Is this too good a smaller and all of that? And then this the, the rocket, and then they need to figure out where they have to do it because the tracking code is gone. So, what actually kind of can happen is the uh, in Sora, what they did is they are talking, blah, 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 blah stuff, and that, uh, and they got these stones, which these stones are used to do something, uh, which I don't know what these stones are meant for anyway, yeah. And then Soa, and then of course do that, and then uh, Soa said, I know, like, uh, let's figure it out. It's kind of confusing, like, she talked about how it was, that she, it's very really hard for her because she's, like, technology, you know, that, and she's, like, talking about that, do we have a war against two kingdoms, uh, the jungle kingdom and the Imperium, and all of that, uh, and all of that, it's very, very, really, really, Interested to think about and all of that, and then you have of course the so it says something about the black card. Like she says, she's a black card. Then uh, Leah say, "You are not. Uh, you just didn't have hope for yourself." And all of that, and then they fell down the whole tower. Uh, they fell down the trap. They fell the touch of booby trap. It fell down a big giant was hole and then a big giant was pit. And yeah, and we have of course the theme song, which I'm like. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please, I don't want to hear any of the theme song right now, but yeah. But of course we have, of course, Sora and Leah bowing down into, like, this asset, which, uh, they, like, like, Sora was predicted, I believe these secret rocks were bowed down into asset, and it is out asset, and all of that. It's very, very funny, uh, thinking about how you think about, uh, the interesting thing about uh, this is, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and then uh, Nia said, uh, said about, well, you was like, and then so was like, um, 
Show this Neo says up about you did part the secret stones with bowed down in the asset. Okay, there's a fair in like uh, an internet with credit and lose hope, and then that show is like fail, but it's kind of seems like anything that's wrong, like it's just how to be hopeful when so many things are wrong. And then, and then, yeah. Okay. So, Leo said, it's so hard to do it when it's right, uh, to do things right, because it's very really hard that everything goes wrong, and uh, we all make mistakes a lot, and everything is not right. We, there's a few things we do wrong, and not everything is wrong. And, yeah. And then you have, of course, uh, and then so I said, is that, uh, is that, uh, is that a uh, Master Wu joke? And she said, no, it's a Neo quote. And it's not a joke, it's a Neo quote. But Ma so she said Master Wu told uh, them uh, that being, having spin jutsu doesn't always make fight fighting uh, and something like that. And then they found this whole time and then they whole feeling they went through the tomb and then they went through there and then it is interesting to think about because you have of course this whole time about poo you have of course this whole time like uh uh Ultima, which has of course where they put the stones in and uh the put in all the stones in the right way well she didn't do it like she's trying to put all of them in the right way and then that's what happened and then boom that's what what happened uh, in this uh, episode is they do that uh, and yeah, and all that, uh, and then they saw, and then uh, in the middle of nowhere, they have something on their hands. They didn't recognize it, but it was the same symbol as the, the table, the the top, the, like the table when she put down the stones. So they had to find another way to go find it. So to go find the dragon cover. Okay, before they go to the tomb. Uh, you have a Kosein in Mr. Furiki, whatever how you pronounce his name. He, the black dude, that he is scratching, he's trying to clean up the whole entire floor and saying something about say, and the saying say, it takes so many hours. It's gonna take like 8,000 hours just to get everywhere in the monastery cleaned up. And he said, I don't have that time. And then, uh, yeah, and then they went into where they was right now. So, while Leah and Sora was putting the uh, things in there, they saw this eye, which uh, they see like an eye, which I don't really know what the eye means. And then uh, Sora said, well, do you see that eye? And then, like I said, and then Sora said something about, Sora said something about, uh, uh, you don't, don't, like, I, I'm in a course, and I always do things a lot. Well, and I'm something about a coaster, something about a coaster, no doubt. And he said, you are not in a coast. She just didn't put it in right. But if you don't know, her head has the same bitty as what it was before. <laughs> so after so and uh, Nia is leaving, uh, you have a concern talking to a fake version of Pixar saying something about, oh, look. Uh, we found like a we found like a uh, a portal under the monastery, and we saw a portal under the monastery uh, of Imperium inside where Imperium is, and then you have a cost. Uh, oh, and also Nia found a portal down in the Cloud Kingdom. It's really weird if you think about it with this episode. This episode is really weird. It's it's like oh, say is talking to a imaginary friend. And, and yeah, and then that's what what's going on. And then when Say got out of the elevator, he was in the elevator. When he got out of the elevator, he's a like, Mr. Fugiki. Fugiki. And then you, afterwards, so uh, Mr. Fugiki was, he bought this mop. This automatic mop. He goes around the whole town room. And then Say stopped him. And then, uh, what happened is, when Sain stopped him, he said, Oh, I'm gonna be sick, Mr. Fur Iggy, whatever how you pronounce his name. He, uh, 
say I will be sick. And then so in the uh uh landed uh, on uh, this place, get out of that place, and then the, the and then so a uh, dragon so uh, found out that uh, like the uh, like so it's like we never got the dragon car and all of that. And then the first Sora, Sora won because Anna was Anna, and Anna is Sora, and you have Sora. And you have, of course, Sora, which with Sora, it is, uh, of course, with Sora, uh, she found out that, that, that there was something on the, uh, in Sora's arm, head, and it is not like a logo that doesn't make sense. And then they saw that there's something coming out, and there's like these skull spirits, the skull demons that come out, which be like curses. Uh, and near in so our curse. So you have of course Mr. Fur Inky back at the monastery trying to figure out. Oh, I need to categorize each book, each author, and then uh, saying that uh, there was uh, they were placed. Quality, like cacography, like where, like uh, all the letters uh, and all all the letters and all the numbers is in the same uh, order. But yeah, but you head back to Neo and Sora, and they need to stop these curses, these whatever you call them. Uh. So when Noah in why why does it know <laughs> why does it know? I mean when Sora and Nia are uh, uh when Sora and Nia are trying to attack these guys, it's like the spirits from that temple of the Dragon Code what we reviewed uh, uh three episodes ago. What we reviewed three episodes ago. Uh, and these are how squall the skulls uh, do that and they are trying to hurt us but element of power would do that and then the dragons they protected the the uh, in Sora, which that is very nice that they are doing that that's very very nice and that's very very nice so yeah and then they take it to this whole town place uh, so inside this cell uh, of course inside this cell uh, of course a uh, they hold this sound like a chin, which is our card, our card, the chin, the last chin. That's the thing with the episode's called, the last chin. And our card, our card, our card, our card, whatever how I pronounce his name, he's an interesting character in all of that, and then, yeah. And then, our card, our card, our card, the chin, chin. He saw Sephin, Seth, Seth, which uh, Seth is the dragon's name. Her name is not Sora, it is called Seth, which is a really weird name. But yeah, and they, they figured out that they knew each other and they all of that. It's really, really interesting that they know each other and uh, yeah, from different realms. Uh. And then Enakor, 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 whatever how you pronounce his name, you have him, and then, yeah, and then you have, of course, the, that, they talked about how, uh, he talked about how he was the last trailer, that he left Ching Jungle to go to a different realm, and all of that, uh, and then that's what happened in Dragon Rising, uh, and all of that, uh, and all of that. So yeah. And then he heard, uh, he, he heard uh, that there was night crawlers, there was like horrors in here, and he said, I knew this day would come. And then he saw Nia and Sora's head, and he decided that they got the uh, giant bruise, the secret skull, the secret stones, uh, about uh, the secret uh, stones, uh, uh, about their permission, without uh, instructions, and then uh, they talked about how these horrors are a curse. And yeah, 
So in a corner, in, in a corner, in, in a book, uh, 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 oh, it's the, the last trailer. I don't really know how you pronounce his name. I don't remember, but uh, he told uh, the uh, insurer that this curse, what the hours are, it's a curse, uh, but uh, you cannot get away from them. You are cursed, uh, and they will always follow you everywhere you go. So they figured out that uh, Nia and so was just, they were just scared uh, that they will get their uh, powers up. They will suck up their power and it is going to uh, be very real. It's going to be, it's very real. And then, uh, and then uh, Nia and so is like, this is scary, like uh, whatever. And then uh, the only way to destroy them is from uh, uh, Trin Magic, which... Uh, Elacola, Elacola, is his name, okay. Elacola, like, they talk about how Elacola told them about you had to watch out because these horrors would destroy it or that. They figured out to do that, so Elacola, uh, Elacola, he is, uh, hiding himself, and then Nia and Sora need to figure out how to stop these. Now, Nia and Nia told uh, him uh, that uh, you kill uh, like you kill uh, like this power inside of you. It's everywhere, so you can pick up, you can do something, uh, blah blah blah, whatever you do it, or whatever you call it. So Nia and Sora is fighting against uh, these horrors and all that. They fight, fight, fight. They always lose. But uh, Elicorn, he said, I have no powers. I'm powerless. And Nia said, you are not powerless. So Nia and Sora is trying to do that. And then they crash into a wall. And then Sora got angry. And then uh, Sora's like, oh, did I say it? it might be like him too? And Nia said, no comment. And then... And then that's what uh, was going on. And then, uh, and then, uh, Sora told uh, Elkhorn that uh, Elkhorn that uh, wishes is like hopes. Uh, is having hope. You wish something to go away, so you have the powers, but you have to wish it. That's the only way to get the powers is if you wish them, wish it. Okay, now Elkhorn is, now he figured out that he does have the magic inside of him. So he used his magic, uh, but the only way for him to do that is that he had to wish it. So Sora wish say, uh, Sora says something about, oh, uh, uh, can you, I wish for you to help us stop these, uh, howl and kick the butt. And then uh, he said the iconic line, you, your wish is yours to keep. And yeah, oh my goodness. But. Yeah, guys, so, yeah. Like, it's like, hey, your wish is yours to keep. Your wish, it's like, you have that. And then, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. And, yeah. and then, um, Eric Horner, he talked to, uh, um, He kicked their butts. So, um, Elkhorn helped Nia and so up. And of course, what do you see that? You have, of course, that. And then you have, of course, you have, of course, all of that. And then uh, the master of hope uh, in, uh, yeah, that is what was going on in, uh, yeah. So the master of hope said, I wish for all of these hours to go away. And then we rush just your keep. Then Tata Erica passed out for just a moment. And then uh, back to the monastery, Mr. Fuiki was talking to uh uh Mr. Fuiki was talking to uh uh to say, like, he was about to leave, and said something about, uh, you're weaving, leaving, you're new to, he was saying something like, you're new to the monastery. Of course, you make mistakes. We make mistakes all the time, uh, but you was doing a good job, uh. 
and then afterwards you have a curse er you have a curse Erica who worked up at his pass out Philly and then he said he will help the Asura about anything they need to work for, anything they need to work for and all of that. Leo also said something about you could probably bring back your home then and something like that. And yeah, and that's how this episode ends up is our this episode. Yeah, a good solid episode, a good episode in my opinion. So yeah. Stay to you guys because I'm <sighs> I don't know, I'm sure about this, but I'm going to try to do this, okay? So, tomorrow is Saturday, right? I know I don't upload any reviews on Saturdays, but at the same time, I got to do one. Like, I got to do one because, uh, for me, that's what I really wanted to do, is I need to do that. And, yeah, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be trying to do this tomorrow night, but... Here's the problem. I got some other things I gotta get done. I have a Christmas parade I had to go to and that tomorrow. So, yeah, but I will try to release it tomorrow. But the next episode is They Call It Doom. That is like the next episode what we, we're we going to do it. Yeah. If I don't do it uh, tomorrow, then I might just do two on Monday. So, yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy this review. If you guys have, then hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to 5 likes if you could do that. That would be amazing. And I would love it so much if you guys could do all of that. Also, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers by June 8th, 2024. Which is my 20th birthday. So if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a Ninjago with you. Also, make sure you guys go down below and share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need your help on my gaming channel. I'm trying to get my gaming channel to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We get closer and closer every day. So, if you guys could go down below and subscribe to my gaming channel, that would be amazing. So, yeah. That would be the second link in the description down below. Also, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my Christian channel, which I need you guys' help on my Christian channel. I am trying to get my Christian channel to 3,000 subscribers by June 8th, 2024, which is my 20th birthday. Which I'm trying to, which kind of, uh, I'm trying to get this, well, I'm, well, you'd say in a good way. Yeah. Both of these channels, I'm trying to get this channel and my Christian channel to 3,000 subscribers on the same day. So if you guys could go down below and go do that, that would be amazing. So yeah. Stay tuned guys because next, the next one will be They Call It Doom. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja Nation Army. And stick around, go check out more of my other videos and I will see my Ninjago fans next time. Peace.